hypergeometric distribution. Three light bulbs were selected from 10. Of the 10, there were, there were four defective. What is the probability that two of the three selected are defective? First of all, even if nobody told me that this is a hypergeometric distribution, I'm going to recognize that this is a, a hypergeometric distribution. First of all, there is a population, and from this population, I take in a sample without replacement of three. So this gives me some idea that could be a hypergeometric distribution. But do not only this. Okay, from the whole population, there is a number of success. In the, I'm going to say success in quotation, because in this case, success means defective. Yeah? So there are a number of defectives, and I want to check the probability that must be in the sample of three, there will be a number of successes. If that happens, it's, it's a question like this, I'm recognizing immediately, oh, not, this needs to be a hypergeometric distribution. So I'm going to use the formula of the hypergeometric distribution. Remember, the probability of x sub x will be equal to the combination k choose x times combination of n minus k choose n minus x divided by a, a, n choose n. So what, what, what is everything? So uh, this n is the number of elements in the population. This k will be 10. This k is the number of successes in the population. So n minus k is actually the number of failures. In this case that there are four successes will be 10 minus 4, 6 uh, failures. And x is the, the question, the number in the question. So I'm finding the probability of the number of successes will be 2. So x equal 2. And this is this number in the sample, the number of failures. A minus 2. Obviously, if, there, if, if, if I got 2, two successes, then I'm going to have 3 minus 2 equal 1 failure. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to type everything that I know here n equal 10, the sample, the, sorry, the population will be 10, the, the, the element, the number of successes in the populations are 4, and I also know that the sample is equal 3, so the sample is the size, the, the size of the sample is 3, and also I know that I'm going to compute the probability of x equal 2, so x will be equal to. And then I just the only thing that I need to do is just make a substitution of all these numbers in the formula. So it will be probability of 2 equal then uh, 4 choose 2, 4 choose 2 times 6 choose choose uh, uh, 1. Yeah? So what I'm going to do is just, just make a substitution 10 minus 10 minus 4. And here, 3 minus 1. Yeah? Three, sorry, 3 minus 2. So everything divided by, and then will be CNN, N, so 10, 3. So 10 choose 3. So this will be equal, just, I'm just making very slowly this. Yeah, there will be C42, this is six, C61, six, and divided by C103. So use your calculator to compute all of them. So that will be equal to C42. So use the key combination in your calculator. So the answer here must be 6. So I'm going to type 6. C61. The answer is also 6. So and then divided by, divided by C103. I get in my calculator 120, so I divide by 120. So 6 times 6 divided by 120, the answer of this is 0 0.3. So that, that is the way that we solve a problem of a hypergeometric distribution. Sometimes we want to use Excel to compute this. Yeah? If you use Excel, then it will be something similar. You actually solve the problem when you recognize what is n, what is k, what is the, the, the 
the sample size, and what is the question. If you recognize this and you recognize that this is a hypergeometric distribution, you already solved the problem because the only thing that you need to do is plug these numbers into the into the in, into the formula, and that's it. But imagine that you don't want to use the formula; you want to use uh, Excel. Okay, open Excel, and this is the form. The, this is the 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 function in the cell that you need to type if you want to if, if you want to solve the problem. Hypergeometric. This is hypergeom point this. And you, you need to open bracket and put the argument. The argument actually have five arguments here. So you see the x, the number of success in the sample. This is the size of the sample n. This is the whole population that I choose. I, I choose the letter k a, n capital n. Sorry, this is the number of successes in the in the population. I use. Uh, K in, in my case, so here it is written X, and N is the number of elements in the whole population. This zero is to 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 say that this is not a cumulative uh, distribution. So you, there is the question is the probability of exactly two in the sample. If the question is at most two, so it will be no a question of exactly two. If the question is at most two, then you need to press one here instead of zero. So you need to tell Excel if this is a cumulative or no cumulative. Cum no cumulated, it means exactly two. Exactly means no cumulative. If the probability of, of is of exactly a number, then will be no cumulated. And you write here, you type zero, or you can type false. If you type false, Excel recognize that this is not cumulative. And if you notice that the problem is, what is the probability that at the most two? So it will be probability that could be zero, could be one, or could be two. You need to add all these answers. You just need to tell itself that this is a cumulative and you type one or you can or you can type true. It's cumulative. So, so you can type true or one or you can type zero or false. Okay, in this case it will be zero. But that, that doesn't mean that you need actually to, re, to remember all this if you are solving the problem in itself. If I solve this problem in itself, so that what I'm going to do, in whatever cells I, of Excel, I'm going to type just what I need to remember is the name of the distribution. And I remember that the name is hypergeometric. So if I type, first I type equal and the first letters age. If I type equal age, now appears Excel give you uh, uh, it give you some options. Yeah? So all the functions for you to remember all the functions. If you don't recognize or you see that there are too many functions, you can type the other letter uh, Y, for example. And if you type Y, okay, now the options are smaller. Yes? Only the function that, is, that, that start with the HY. Yeah? And and I notice oh, here is the one that I'm looking for. Yeah, so it will be easy to recognize. Oh, this is the this is the hypergeometric distribution. And then I just type a, a click on the hypergeometric distribution. If I do this, and then appear a hypergeometric distribution and appears what to do. Yeah, what things to plug in the argument. So what will be the argument? So for example, they tell me here the number of successes in the sample and the number in the sample. And I, I, I noted that the number of successes in the sample is two. The question that I want to comp the, the, the question that I want to solve is what is the probability that the number of successes in the sample is two? And the sample is the size of the sample is three. So I just need to type two comma three. Even Excel is telling me you need to you need to type a comma between the between the numbers. So I'm going to type two times three, and then it tells me there is a comma after after these numbers, and I need to type the the subsexes in the population, and the subsexes in the populations are four. There are four defective in the whole population, and then here the number, the total number of elements in the populations. Yeah, so it will be number of the population. So it is telling you what to type. So I'm going to type the populations, 
the successes in the populations are 4 and the population is, is 10, so it will be 4, 4, 10. And then I need to, a cell is telling me, is this cumulative or not? A cell is asking me what to do, yeah? It's cumulative. This is not cumulative because this is the question is exactly two. So I'm going to type zero and cross the bracket. Don't forget to cross the bracket. Zero and the brackets. So always the argument will must be between brackets. Okay. Okay, and the only thing that I need to do is just press enter. Yeah? So I'm gonna press enter, and as soon as I press enter, appears the answer in the cell that I was that I chose. So don't forget equal signs at the beginning. Yeah? If you actually can write this, you solve the problem. If you can recognize what is the whole population, what is what are the number of sexes in the population, what is the sample, and what is the question, and you recognize that this is a hypergeometric distribution, you solve the problem already. The, the, the other thing is just use the formula or use Excel. Okay, that concludes my explanation of this problem. Thank you.